USA, Chris Bowman in the second spot, Danny Duran and Vladimir Petrenko of the Soviet Union is fourth. This is Lars Bresler. And that is coach Lorna Brown. Opening his long program with a triple flip, and there it is. Very well done. He used to be an inconsistent skater, but he's being very cautious about these opening jumps. Triple axle, two foots it. He wasn't quite high enough on that jump to actually complete the three and a half revolutions required for him. figures, Jim, and, and did a fairly decent job on the original program, enough to pull him up to sixth place going into the long program here. And that, I think, is a uh, great tribute to him because he has not been consistent historically. And to uh, do so well in the short program, or the original program, it really means that you have to hit those jumps. And Misha, there's a lot more difference between the original or the short program and the free skate or the long program than just the difference in time. That's exactly right. The original program has categories of required elements, eight of those, and in the long program you can do anything you want. In addition, it's really principally the technical ability of the skater which is being judged in the, in the original program. In the long program, it's the total skater. Tonight, the 20-year-old out of Denmark, Lars Dresler. 
the Danish champ, four years in a row running. 14th in the World Championships this year in Budapest for Lars Dresler. For technical merit, from a high of 5.4 to that 15.0. He's set of marks for artistic impression for Lars Dresler. 5.2, 5.1, a high of 5.4. And now through tonight's free skate, Lars Dresler of Denmark in the top. Seat 7, available DVD entertainment system. It's dripping in chrome. Big, bold, beautiful. Forget drive it. If I had a bathroom, I'd live in it.